Hello guys, welcome to Assassin's Creed Unity new episode. This is at episode 7. If you haven't seen the previous episode, then you can go and see its link description. Thank you. What? No time to explain! Run! Will we be taking a ride this evening, Professor? Uh, no, 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 no. I'm afraid not. These older models are entirely at the mercy of the breeze, and there is far too much of it, I'm afraid, to be safe. Now, this particular example... What do you think you're doing? Get out of there this instant! Cut the ropes! I'll cover you! Oh, my. <laughs>
They might actually be trying to hit me. What did you do back there? It's a long story. I really should talk to Napoleon about this. Next time, I plan the escape route. It's beautiful. From up here, you'd never know the nation is tearing itself apart. Can... Can things ever go back to the way they were before, do you think? Do you? After everything that's happened. Everything we've lost. So that's it then. The course of history forever altered. Never again to return. Maybe we can't go back. But going forward isn't necessarily an ending. Please. You took too long. I love you. Had to dash. You looked so peaceful, I didn't want to wake you. Je t'aime, Elise. Someone will come and collect it. Surely. Waterfall of signal distortion. It's not looking good. How about one more boost before I lose this connection? Sending you the data now.
the date and place of Germain's death. So you'll have to find it yourself. Bishop out. On dirait qu'il se passe quelque chose. Quel malapris. Qu'y a-t-il
Are you sure about this? Not particularly, no. But the Marquis is on the National Convention for Le Pelletier. He might have some insight. Ah, uh, which is a more incisive commentary on corruption in the bishopric? Seven nuns seducing a parish priest into debauchery, or an enormously endowed Benedictine sodomizing a goat named Pius? No force in heaven or on earth will make me answer that question. Quite right, Arno. The goat it is. So, what can I do for you? And your charming companion. Louis-Michel Le Pelletier. What can you tell us about him? Ah, dear Louis. He went from abolishing the death penalty to calling for the king's head in two short years. Where can we find him? I'm afraid I don't often socialize with my fellow deputies. Something about my distaste for the beheading of the innocent. Speaking of innocence... De Sad. Mm -hmm. Le Peltier. Well, I believe he often takes meals at a certain cafe near Le Palais Royal. I believe you can find him there. If we don't, I'll be back. Really? Well, then I hope I'm mistaken. No, you don't. Wine delivery for the palace. Look it round back. Make sure you clean those windows properly this time, or Mr. Le Pelletier will have my yes, head. Madame. Bonjour, Citizen Le Pelletier. Citizen Talia.
You want me to come over there and... Attending the execution tomorrow? Of course, won't you? Waiter, you've missed the defining event of the age. We oui, miss you. The bottle of your finest wife. <coughs> Tonight to <coughs> celebrate the death of the tyranny. At once, sir. Bloody hell, don't lose him! David, give me a bottle of the Chateau D, quickly.
The king must be seen as a criminal and a traitor. Only then, when he's executed like a common villain, do we show the world Jacques de Molay's great truth. You may show the world what true as you like, Grand Master. What I do, I do for the good of France. You were right. King Louis's been talking to all sorts he shouldn't have. Citizen Le Belletier, the vote stands at 360 for execution to 360 for clemency. How do you vote? Execution! The vote is cast and counted, Grandmaster. And? The king will die. I had no doubt. I shall very much look forward to witnessing the end of tyranny. I'll see to it you have the finest view. Chose les agents.
They're bringing the king up now. Are you sure Germain will be there? Yes, I'm sure. Then what are we waiting for? Let's split up. We'll cover more ground that way. Hello, Arno. Monsieur Germain. It's fitting you are here to witness the rebirth of the Templar Order. After all, you were there for its conception. Monsieur de la Serre. Ah, 
I tried to make him see. But the order had become corrupt, touching at power and privilege for their own sake. But you could set it right. Is that it? All by killing the man in charge? Oh, de la Serre's death was only the first stage. This is the culmination. Achilles, clearly a symbol. Symbol can inspire fear. The fear can inspire control. But men inevitably lose their fear of symbols, as you can see. This was the truth de Molay died for. The divine right of kings is nothing but the reflection of sunlight upon gold. And the crown and church are ground to dust. Who you control the gold will decide the future. I must take my leave. Good day to you. Kill him. Go! Quite an entrance. What are you doing? Go after him! I'm not leaving you here to die. Pressing concern at the moment. It is. He's gone. Damn it! Our one chance. It's not over. We'll find another lead. No, we won't. You think he'll be so careless now, knowing how close at heel we are? You were given a golden opportunity to end his life, and you refused to take it. To save your life? It isn't yours to save. What are you saying? I'm willing to risk everything to put Jama down. If you don't have the stomach for revenge, then I don't need your help. Elise. Elise! Okay, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you liked this gameplay. See you in the next episode. Bye bye.